is you should know that the workers have a, a mask and then they have a shield. So as far as they're concerned, they're protected. If they have a mask and a shield, they're protected. If they're not protected and they're in fear of someone that has their mask down from their nose, then what is the mask and the shield doing for them? Nothing, because they're still in fear. So the mask and the shield is actually just reinforcing fear as opposed to actually keeping someone from catching anything. Because if it was keeping them from catching anything, they wouldn't be so fearful about somebody walking by with the mask down below their nose. So it isn't factual, scientific, historical, or scriptural, or anything like that, right? So it's all based on fear. So. Oh, look at this. Woohoo! Oh, you're giving me your french fries. You want some of my rice, honey? Nope. If you give me your spoon, okay. I would have given you some of my rice. Oh, there's the odd. I like that eye. I like that kind of eye. I'm ready for that. Honey, it's Angelo. He can eat all those potatoes. Hi, welcome to Frank and Angie's channel where we talk about the retire early lifestyle, whether it's at home or abroad. We're not promoting a specific, we stopped doing that years ago saying, this is the place. I have a friend that's been traveling the world for 40 years and even he will tell you that there's no perfect place anywhere in the world. So today in this video, we're gonna talk about something that happened and actually it's happening quite frequently, uh, quite regularly, I should say, not necessarily frequently, but quite regularly. You know, I don't want to enter into a debate, and I think that a lot of the times uh, there's so much misunderstanding, and I know that people like concise videos and they want you to get to the point, so I'm going to try to do that. But I'm saying that in no way have we ever said we were anti-mask. I mean, I do believe people should wear a mask if that's what they want to do. So in this video, we're going to talk about something that happened in regards to that. But I don't want people to misunderstand. People should have the freedom to make their own choices. That's exactly our point in all of our discussion. Because I know, uh, you know, I, I'm on certain groups and we even have our own group. And, uh, you know, I make statements and people say things as if you're trying to say that you're anti-mask and you're not. So I just wanted to be clear about that before I start talking about what happened. Right. Actually yeah. don't believe that healthy people should wear a mask, but uh, okay. Well, that's, that's a conversation <laughs> too. And healthy people do not scientifically and factually or historically need to wear a mask because they're not emitting anything. But then if, when, you, when you say that, I want to get away from that because okay. you've got people that have these counter arguments based on what is promoted in the media. They're not really actually factual or based on any kind of you know, actual facts or science or anything. So I wanted to stay away from that. So what happened is that we're, we're going into a store and um, we're walking around and you know, I'm no spring chicken even though I'm not way up there in age, but I'm no spring chicken and uh, I can't breathe. You know, I can't breathe with a mask over my nose. So regardless, you're, going, you're in a population where not everyone is going to be in the same spot with their knowledge. And, and I refer to this a lot in the sense that about talking about people that just copy and paste. I call it copy and paste because they, they just kind of see what's in the media. She, my mom would, would call me up and she'd say, have you heard the news? Because uh, she, she knows I don't uh, watch TV, okay? And so she'd say, you know, she'd call me up in the, around dinner time in the evening and say, did you hear this news? Did you hear it? She thought that I was in a blackout on news just because I don't watch TV. And that's what I'm saying about a lot of people, they get their information from a particular source. And, you know, there's other people out here that are getting their information all over the place and they're confirming facts and actually know something. I just want to avoid, you know, this, this kind of thing where people think they're right and then they want to enforce their position by argument. And argument doesn't make right. I mean, might doesn't make right. Uh, you know, something is either scientific, factual, historical, and scriptural, or it's not. So, uh,
walking in the store and there's hardly anybody in there. And this, uh, you know, we're walking around looking at the products on the shelves and everything. So after a few minutes of that, there were a couple of workers there we noticed. As you should know that the workers have a, a mask and then they have a shield. So as far as they're concerned, they're protected. If they have a mask and a shield, they're protected. If they're not protected and they're in fear of someone that has their mask down from their nose, then what is the mask and the shield doing for them? Nothing, because they're still in fear. So the mask and the shield is actually just reinforcing fear as opposed to actually keeping someone from catching anything. Because if it was keeping them from catching anything, they wouldn't be so fearful about somebody walking by with the mask down below their nose. So it isn't factual, scientific, historical, or scriptural, or anything like that, right? So it's all based on fear. So, so we're walking down the aisle and the security guard comes up and says, you, you need to be wearing your mask properly. That was the word, because it was down. Uh, and because when I talk, you know, look, I can't catch my breath. And so I was in a different store. I won't mention the stores. This is not something that just happened one time. Okay, this has been happening the whole time we've been here in Ecuador and I imagine other Latin American countries too. Uh, feel free to tell us in the comments what your experiences are. But several different stores has happened. In one of the other stores, the, the people, the workers were actually following us around the store making sure and enforcing that the mask was over the nose. So here's the thing about that. So I had a discussion with those people. Now these are two different things I don't want you to confuse. I just wanted you to know it wasn't a one-time thing. It's all over. Okay, now here's what to, there is to know about the first place that I started talking about is that there was nobody in the store. There was nobody in the store. There was just a security guard and a couple of workers, you know, stocking the shelves with their mask and their shield. So here they are coming to us. Think about this. There's nobody in this store. Who is it that's that they're afraid that you're going to that you're going to inoculate with this really deadly virus where everyone's dropping dead, and, but they're really not. Who is it that you're inoculating? You know, there's no one in the store. A couple of workers. They got their face mask. They got their shield. They have gloves. They're on still too. scared. They wear they, gloves. They still, and they got gloves. And they got gloves. So if all of that's protecting them, why are they still so fearful? And after the security guard was very nice, by the way, he was a very nice person, and he really wasn't trying to um, beat us over the head, let's just say. All right, uh, we believe that the workers went and snitched us out, and that's why he did it. Otherwise, he, he can't, you know. All right, so we're the only customers in the store, and they just chased us out of the store because after we were told we had to do this and all the nonsensical issues behind this that I'm, clearly understanding and aware of no i don't want to go be in that store anymore after i'm being uh, you know told that this nonsensical thing has to you have to do this and why there's nobody even in the store it makes no sense right so a person like me is going to be saying okay fine look i don't really want to be in the store so they basically chased out the only customer they even had in the store okay this is a really important point that i will get to in a second about chasing out the only customers they had in the store based on fear so the second place i was referring to where they were even more militant where they were actually following me around i finally had to have a conversation with, with them i asked them why are you doing this i mean i i can't breathe I, I literally said look i can't breathe when this thing's over my nose It's a gas guy. So I have friends that go shopping as little as possible because they don't want this to deal, deal with this, okay? So this, these, these policies are simply shooting commerce. You know, they're basically discouraging commerce, okay? So anyway, I, you know, I decided I would get in on, on a personal level with them because they're following me around. Put it up, put it up, you know? And I'm like, okay, put it up and then take it down. So I finally had a conversation. I said, look, I can't breathe with this thing on. And you know what they said? They, they actually, I actually respect them for being real with me. Ecuadorians are very cool They're, people. Ecuadorians are really nice people. They okay? are. And he actually said, you know what, I can't breathe either. But it's the government. In other words, we do this because it's the law. They don't really believe in it and they can't breathe either. They don't like it. So what it is is that these government policies are discouraging commerce because there's people yeah it's a two hundred dollar fine i don't think that they want to be fined two hundred dollars well it's more than two hundred dollars 
four hundred dollars, eight hundred dollars. It seems like it keeps probably going depends on what area you're so, in. So, so to me though, there's two, there's two parts to this, to this scenario. That the the conclusion of this video is getting to this, is that this is what we're dealing with, is that, just as in World War II, when later, all and I have to be careful on how we say things because we don't want our videos to be penalized and our channel to be penalized because every time we come right out with this conspiracy theory stuff we get shadow banned a you know, lot we guys get, we get Gals. penalized so <laughs> so i'm going to try to be a little more cryptic okay but not too much so you'll understand and so but in, in world war ii after the fact after world war ii and all of the atrocities people were they were questioned why did you do this why did you go along with this you know the people that the enforcers and the you know all these people and they're like and you've heard this before, the standard answer was, well, we were just taking orders. I don't know, we were, it was our job, we were just taking orders. And that's what it reminds me of in these stores. So there is an analogy there with World War II. Dictate, dictatorship, okay? And this, this country has mandatory masks outside and you see people walking down the sidewalk and there's nobody there, right? And there they are, just completely compliant and obedient. And I'm gonna to read to you a comment from a South, a guy that was born, you know, raised in South America. And I'm gonna read that comment to you. But they're completely compliant and they're just blindly and sheepishly compliant because there's no one there. And they're walking down the street by themselves like the guy that just walked by with the mask. And, you know, that, all right. And there's said, no one there. There's no science. <laughs> Do you see anybody that. in it's this the, park? You know, is this intelligent? <laughs> you know, is it intelligent? Is, it, is this common from sense? A level of intelligence. You know, intelligence <sighs> meaning that there's knowledge behind it. Is, right. there, is there factual, historical, you know, medical, scientific knowledge behind these rules? That's the question. And so what about all of this, uh, this commercial, the commercial players, all of the stores that are just following orders? What about them? You know, where is, does, is, does anybody, does anybody have the will and the spirit to say, no, we're not gonna go along with this. Well, you There's did. nothing behind this. All it is is force. <laughs> All it is is force. And it's not based on anything. Okay? And here we are, people like us, saying, wow. You know, we're in the middle of this, and the Ecuadorians, do they even know? And they, that, that's the wonderful thing that we love about Latin America is because of the poverty, okay, and because of some of these policies that all they do is destroy commerce, the free commerce, right? So you have a lot of uh, uh, poverty in, some, in, in these areas, okay? But the other side of the coin of that poverty that a lot of people don't think about is that it causes people to group together as family and that's you know there's a love there the love there is the, and the poverty that goes hand in hand and the family values that develop because people aren't distracted by money and wealth they're distracted and you know they slowly remove themselves from that 
you know, it, it never was called nuclear family before. It was just family, right? When did that happen after? Anyway, different conversation, different video. The point is that in Latin America, families work together and they love each other. And the relationship is there. It's based on love. And I know that it, people aren't perfect, but there's more of that. And I've said in other videos how there's more family values abroad. And, that, and you will see a lot of poverty there too. And you see a lot of that in like in southern Italy. And you see that in the south of the USA where there's, these are areas that have a little bit more poverty than maybe the north. And you can, if you do a study on this and you really go look at this with, uh, with, a, with just an unbiased view, you'll see that that's true. The, the less money people make, the more family oriented they tend to be. And they rely on each other and they help each other and it's based on love. So why did I start talking about that? Because there's a lot of, when you have more families, there's more children. And when there's more children, there's more love. And then when there's more children, there's a lot of young people. And there's a lot of young people, and I know I went around about way, a long way, but I wanted to say that there's a lot of young people in Ecuador, and do they even know? Do the Ecuadorians, or any lands, Central America, Panamanians, whatever, Dominican Republic, do they even know that scientifically, factually, and medically that people under 50 years of age have almost a zero chance of dying from COVID. But I have some thoughts on that too because you know we've spent eight, eight straight years in Ecuador without leaving Ecuador for long periods. I mean, we've taken trips to Panama for a couple of weeks, but we were here in Ecuador for eight straight years. We know, and we're on the ground. We don't isolate ourselves in our condo. I mean, I'm saying not that judgmentally, but I'm just explaining that we're out here on foot. We're in the middle of the culture. And when, if you, if you do this, every single year, I, Quincano's what they call winter here, where it's just cloudier and it's more humid and the buildings have less, the, their ventilation, the construction's not, you know, the, the, the old construction methods and the ventilation. In other words, this is just a big, cocktail that causes people to get respiratory and so I'm just saying that the Concanos there's always been lots of sick people here always all the time during the uh, winter months during and stuff, the winter and months when it's really cold and, and rainy somebody as naturalists like us that take care of our health that aren't sick you notice that because you're the guy that does not get sick every winter so when you're out and you're like even young people are like coughing and stuff like wow everybody's like got this cough and everybody's like got congested and stuff but they're not dropping dead so this is not a new thing people getting sick during the colds and stuff so yeah people people can take care of themselves and do better but this idea and I see all of these young people we were out shopping yesterday and all of the attendants and all the store clerks are all young people you know but here they are with their mask and their shield and the this and Good the that point. and you know and do they even know? So anyway, thanks for staying with me. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Uh, I've got a lot more thoughts on this stuff that I'll make different videos on. Uh, and uh, thanks for coming to our channel. And, uh, you know, pray for Ecuador. Pray for Ecuador. Pray for North America. Pray for Poland. Thanks again. And uh, have a nice day.